friends welcome to 25th episode of javascript programming in the previous episode we have learned about array few functions like sort slice splice and true string in this episode we will discuss about javascript object so the here we will uh, discuss the simple object but when i will start the object oriented javascript programming that time we will explain everything about the javascript object so let's create a object for user so now uh, previously we have learned so we can specify the property so f name now l name and edge so we have defined our object that is user object we can test this is object so type of user so this is not a normal data type this is an object because we are storing here you can see string age then we are creating a complex data type that is user so now we can access the object property using dot operator so like user dot f name so let's try so we should get the first name so we are getting so also we can access the edge like that and here we can see we can concatenate using plus sign previously we have learned your edge is so save and refresh so here you can see your edge is this one next thing uh, in other ways also we can if we know the key that is edge so we can access like that so let's refresh this page so here you can see we are able to access now another way you can create an object so so var user equal to new object so we have created object now we can define the property user dot f name l name so we have defined two properties now we can access the properties like user dot f name so here you can see this is also working perfectly now in object we can store the properties as well as we can store some methods we can define some method so let's take an example so user equal to now we can define f name and l name So we have defined these things. This is similar uh, with the next uh, previous one. We can prove that. So user dot f name. So now we are accessing this f name. So we will get the visual of is working. Now we can define here method also like function. So let's define a function get full name now colon now instead of defining a normal value we can define a function so this one can return something hi test so let's try the username so this is working so no error now we can call that function get full name so let's refresh so high test is coming now we can interact with this data so inside that object if you want to access the f name and l name we will use the this keyword so this will refer the data within that object so we can give hi your full name is now previously we have learned concatenation so we can concatenate now we will add f name 
so F name now we will give a space so we will concatenate now we will give the L name so this dot L name so now we are returning this string so alert get full name so let me refresh this page so here you can see hi your full name is Vishwarup Adhikari so now we can modify this object here so user dot f name equal to alum and user dot l name equal to save so now we have modified the property of the object now if we call this what we will get so let me refresh so here you can see your full name is alum sk so here you can see you can introduce new new method so let's say you have a property edge 7 now you can create another method so get edge or status now function we can do some decision if this dot edge is greater than 80 return old else return young so now we can check the status so by default the age is 27 so still we have not override the age so it's 27 but we have override the name Bishwaru to alum and Adhikari to say so let's refresh this page so here you can see young now let's modify the edge here so let user dot edge equal to 199 now let's refresh this page so here you can see old so you have data and you can create new new method and you can implement your logic and later you can access that so for example you can create a car object you can give basic property model other things and you can create a method like start which will start the car pause which will pause the car or brake or change gear like that so you can uh, interact with the object using methods so hopefully you understood the logic um, of data type object javascript object and how you will use so when we will create an application small small applications that time it will be clear so hope the basic things about javascript object you understood and thanks for watching and if you have any question or suggestion then please write comment below this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day